with the Royal Rumble in the books, WWE is gearing up for the Elimination Chamber, which will be on February 18th in Montreal. And they have already announced two huge matches. The first one will, will, will determine the number one contender to the, wall, to the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Uh, and the other will be on, uh, another one will be an Elimination Chamber match for the United States Championship. And it already has guys like Austin Theory, Seth Rollins, Bronson Reed, I believe Johnny Gargano is in that match. So based on these two Elimination Chamber matches, which one intrigues you the most? Is it the U.S. title? Is it the number one contender for the? Is it the number one contender for the women's ch- title? Which one? The women's tag. No, not the women's tag. Like, like the women's uh raw the raw women's title. The winner of I'm it like, gets bro, to face the raw. Even women. they forgot about the women's tag match. <laughs> <laughs> women's tag titles. I'm like, damn! I had to remember they had that. Uh. When they start booking it, because more, I don't mean, they're probably not going to do that anyway, so I'm not going to even get to that, like, for the title shot. Uh, which would be interesting if they don't do it that way. Like, you know, usually it's always, like, if you win the match, you get the title shot at WrestleMania. So if they don't go that route this year, that would be different. Right. And I feel like they would have announced that already. So I don't know how they're going to play this out, which makes, you know, makes me to believe they go on that route that we talked about earlier. Uh, right. More than likely, I don't know, bro. Like, because the U.S. title, like, damn, I really want to hurt myself for a U.S. tag title. And no disrespect, because it's a lot of history, not tag, but it's a lot of history behind the U.S. title. But do I mm-hmm. really want to hurt myself for the mid card title, prestige title? Mm-hmm. But do I really want to go through hell for that? So, I mean, maybe that, that by default, just because you going through that for the U.S. title, like, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, the U.S. title, because the women's, you going for the women's title, which means mm-hmm. you'll be on the card, you know, the main card for yeah. WrestleMania. But the U.S. title, did they say it's for, and I probably uh, forgot that you said it, is it for a U.S. title shot at WrestleMania? No, it's for the actual, so it's for the title. It's for the title. Like, it's, oh, it's for, for the, the U.S. championship. Yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah. I'm, I don't know why I'm thinking it's uh, to get a shot at the title at WrestleMania. Yeah, I don't, why would you go through all that for a U.S. title? Mm. Yeah, women's because it's like I think about like, why would you go through that? I feel that I definitely feel that. Yeah, I would say go I, I was gonna say I'm equally excited for both because I believe that Elimination Chamber is going to be the official coming out party of this new version of Oscar. Right? We have seen her with the new paint, very much channeling Kana. Uh, we saw her in her backstage segment with Carmella, who is back, which, you know, she's back as herself now. So I'm, I'm actually cool on that. Um, but seeing this new presentation of Asuka is going to be probably the focal point of this uh, women's elimination chamber match. Because I believe that is going to be, you know, like we said earlier, I think it's going to be Asuka versus Bianca at Mania. And if it is... Mm-hmm then the only way that that makes sense is if there's this new version of Asuka. And therefore, they have to continue to build this presentation and to build the reputation of Asuka in her current form. So I'm excited to see that. The U.S. title right now, we I kind of have the same mindset you do. Like, am I really going to hurt myself over the U.S. title? Right. But at the same time, this continues the, the trend of Triple H building the prestige of these mid-card titles between the Intercontinental Championship being put on Gunther, him being the Iron Man of the men's Royal Rumble match, him having these very, very engaging mm-hmm. face-offs with guys like Brock, and that could lead to a WrestleMania match, who knows, right? And then you have the U.S. title being put into this predicament where you have guys like Seth Rollins, who is a former world champion, arguably one of the best wrestlers on the planet, along with guys like Bronson Reed and Johnny Gargano, who are looking to be on the up and up and on the come up in the company. Um, And just seeing that this championship is going to be placed in this environment is going to raise the prestige. And you got guys in there that know how to put on good matches. Johnny Gargano, he has a history of putting on some really good matches. Same as Seth Rollins. Um, So I think that we're going to get a 
you know, a match in that U.S. title for the in, on, in the Elimination Chamber that's ultimately going to raise the prestige of the U.S. championship. And I think that that's the long-term, that's part of the long-term plan more than anything. So I'm equally excited for both because I feel like each one is going to have a different focus than the other one, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's in the meantime between time. That's all they're doing at this moment, just getting everybody prepared for WrestleMania because there's no pay-per-view, obviously, in um, in March. So this is the end. Meantime between time, you got to build up stories. You got to just, yeah. you know, we cruise, we cruise control until then. Mm-hmm. But I want to know how everybody else feels. How do, how do, we, how do we feel about this, uh, the Elimination Chamber uh, event? It's going to be in Montreal. It's also rumored that Sami Zayn and, and Roman are going to be going at it in Sami Zayn's hometown. So we want to know which Elimination cha- Chamber match are you guys the most excited for? Um, but we're going to move on to something outside of pro wrestling that has to do with directly with pro, pro wrestling. So 